The beard is in unfamiliar territory. He craves the familiar taste of home. And a free shirt, of course. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're eating fish and chips today. I realise, of course, that there is a certain irony in an Englishman travelling the best part of 6,000 miles to eat fish and chips, but um, t-shirt's a t-shirt, you know I love a t-shirt. I like the commitment to the theme, but someone should probably tell them we don't even have those in England anymore. Shakespeare pub and grill. Hi. I heard that you have like a, a big, like a giant fish and chips thing. Yeah, yeah. Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Leeds. Are you Yeah, 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 from, from Leeds. That's a nice life trajectory. Warrington to San Diego. The kitchen's not quite ready to serve fish and chips yet because it's like 10 a.m. But I do have the bonus of, uh, of getting to watch Southampton versus Leicester. Bound to be a classic. Bound to be. Tempted to go for a morning Guinness, but uh, I better not since I'm driving. This is it. The Great White Whale Challenge. Not sure how many people have completed it, but it looks like a lot have attempted. Alright, I can't say I don't wear really t-shirts because worst case scenario, I just have this one off the wall, surely. Ooh, look at that. Mrs. Beard would be rapidly imprisoned here, let me tell you. She loves a good tickle. If I'm not mistaken, it's basically just a large, a very large portion of fish and chips. I think more chips than fish. And if you can do it inside one hour, you get the meal free and the t-shirt. Do you want me to announce it or Is that what you normally do? Oh, then yes, yeah. Cool, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll sign this. Yes, ma'am. I never really know whether to put my, my real name on these or like the stage name, you know. Beard meets food. I'll, I'll put my real name. Thanks, man. Appreciate it too. Thank you. Thanks. Ooh, everything's gone silent. That's foreboding. I would like to inform you of our world famous eating challenge, the Great White Girl Challenge. I thought she might stand a little bit closer. Today's Adam from yeah. yeah, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Thank you very much. Flipping it. That's, I think that might be the, I've done a lot of fish and chip challenges and that might be the biggest fish I've ever seen. Don't throw up or it's a fish challenge for people, please. Don't worry, I promise I won't throw up. I think. What do you reckon? You think you could do that? Come on, you're British men, aren't you? You could no, do that. I no? <laughs> no, we just look stupid. Are <laughs> right, you ready? Uh, I am. Do you want it? Could you? You're letting uh, it go cold. Oh, well, that, you get, how long do you get? You're not allowed to um, get off your seat now. You've yeah. Got 45 minutes to eat it. 45 minutes, yeah. and if you uh, if you do it, you get one of those t-shirts, yeah. right? And we put it on Facebook, oh, and you get it for free. Sweet. I'm gonna yeah. press the timer. Yeah. All right. Good luck, oh, all right, thank you. Can I possibly get some more water? Right, let's get stuck in here. Uh. Good. Wow, you're my spirit animal, dude. <laughs> there you go, darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, what a relief. She called me darling. She must like me. I was worried when she accused me of cheating. <laughs> I should clarify that she was joking. At least I think she was. Anyway, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Yes, you are correct. I flew halfway around the world just to eat British food. Why? Well, mostly for the free t-shirt, of course. You know me. I love a good winner's garment. I need to let some of the heat out. This is like ridiculously hot. Look at the steam coming off it. Yeah, quite literally piping hot. Anyways, you get uh, 45 minutes to finish this one, and it comes in at yeah, about five pounds, I think. <laughs> I think the fish around here might be on anabolics. I'm not sure they're, they're natural athletes. Yeah, this fish is jacked. They could call this the, uh, the Ronnie Solman challenge. <laughs> Apart from it's, uh, it's haddock, not soul. That was a, a bodybuilding gag, by the way. The chips are actually pretty good, and it's rare that I would say such a thing. And this tartar sauce is incredible. 
Okay, not wrong. The tartar sauce was rude. I'm not sure if you have to finish it, actually. Come to think of it. I'm not going to waste it, though. I'll tell you that much. Look at that piece of fish, man. Is it good, though? It's good, yeah. It's just huge. Look at it. You could kill somebody with that. <laughs> I've got a, a bad habit of exaggerating for comedic effect. I really should try and cut back on that a bit. <laughs> it's a thick bit of fish, though. The biggest I think I've seen. Normally, fish and chip challenges, you just get a fairly large piece of fish and loads of chips. But not here, it's, uh, it's pretty much half and half. Oh, this is yum. This is one of the best tasting fish and chip challenges I've done. Which is odd because you wouldn't really expect that in America. Whoa. Let's do some more chips. That's not to say, of course, that the chefs out here are bad. Not by any means. I just mean. You know, if the Americans are doing fish and chips better than us, what do we have left? Cornish pasties? Steak and kidney pie? I think that's about it. The most exceptional part of this, and I wouldn't use the word exceptional that often, is the tartar sauce. There's something about this which is really pretty special. Yeah, I love the tartar sauce. It's not normally the case that a condiment would be my favourite component, but that's how good it was. This is going to save me a few minutes, actually, in the edit. Normally I have to put this on screen, like, digitally. Yeah, I thought something didn't look quite right. I thought it might be a bit confusing to have two timers on screen. But uh, the, the rules say you've got to leave the timer on the table, apparently. I don't we know why. <laughs> Thank you. What is the time? 15 minutes? Okay, let's go. <laughs> well, you got the whole bowl of peas still, so. <laughs> but you're doing, honestly, greater than I am. Well, thank you, thank you. I love how excited Americans get about basically anything. There's still like an entire brick of fish left. <laughs> brick of fish. It is a bit of a waste, to be fair. Nearly there, though. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no Pepsi in this area? I got the Diet Coke in the corner there, don't worry. Uh, that young chap's definitely seen a few episodes. I did get a Diet Coke, actually, in order to cut any potential greasiness. But um, honestly, I needn't have bothered because the fish was fresh, the batter was crisp but light at the same time, and they give you plenty of that scrumptious tartar sauce, so there was no occasion for use of a fizzy beverage. And uh, just some peas left now. I mix the peas in with the tartar sauce. This is delicious. There we go. No episode would be complete without the old D-bomb. We're almost there. Just a few spoonfuls of peas to go. And I wasn't about to let that tartar sauce go to waste either, whether it's included or not. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I'll catch you on the flip. Yes, that was a fish pun. There's one last pea here that I can't get out of the bowl. <laughs> Got it. Oh, oh yeah, I don't want to, I won't touch the screen because my hands are dirty, but you know. Do you have a dessert menu? I do! Dessert menu! That I should have recorded. You out ate dessert. I told them too, I was like, he's gonna order dessert watch. They're like, no way. The t-shirt you get doesn't just say like the name of the restaurant, it actually says like you finished the challenge. This is a cool one. They only had small, but that's all right, it'll be a snug fit, you know. It's medium, my, my favorite fit. I'm gonna enjoy this dessert. At a leisurely pace. That was tidy, I tell you, man, I thought that was gonna be terrible. I did this one uh, fish and chip challenge in New York ages ago and it wasn't, it wasn't very good. So I think I just kind of assumed that all American fish and chips would be terrible, but that was, that was boss. I mean, the lady's from Warrington, so that's probably why. That's a bit hot. Nice bunch of people. Ooh, there's like a little snug in there. It's cool, you probably can't see it because of the light. Please, God, don't let my car have been towed. Oh, I think we're all right. I think we might have gotten away with it. Unless these, uh... oh, you could actually pay with uh, with a card. Did not realize that. All right, two challenges, two t-shirts. Nice ratio so far.
Congratulations. Oh, I can't you believe much. you're... Are you actually going to get a dessert? Oh, yeah. Is there anything that you recommend? Oh, I feel Sticky like... Sticky toffee pudding. Can I, can I get spotted dick? Or spotted dick. Just because, dick. like... Yeah. 